And today we are going for Umrah by road trip. We had came over here to take insurance. They need to refuel his fuel. But there is no hotel or any rooms where we can stay for tonight. So guys, Bismillah, let's have our al -bake. And see the one on the center. 40 kilometers per hour. So now I will tell you how much mileage I got. Now the bus service is there. Overall the hotel is clean. Salam alaikum guys, the car is fully loaded and today we are going for Umrah by road trip. And today I'm super excited because we are going to end this year by visiting the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we will be making dua for ourselves and most importantly for the people of Gaza who have been suffering for more than 72 days now. We will be praying for everyone inshallah and in this video I will be sharing all the details and information for the people who love to do road trips. So let's begin the road journey. So guys, now I just started my car and the first thing is I'll make the meter zero. So let me show you my trip A. This is every time when I refuel petrol, I will be resetting it to see how much mileage I'm getting and I can f inform you about it. And B trip is for the entire journey. So in the end, when we reach back to Bahrain, you will come to know how much we traveled. So guys, the first stop direct from my house is the Karak shop. So first thing I will do is refill full karak in this thing, almost one liter, and then we will move towards the causeway. Salaam alaikum. Oh, karak full, huh? So guys, this is the first fuel station before we cross the Saudi causeway. And the fuel over here is much cheaper, so we'll refuel it from here. And my car, the tank is around 75 liters. I just refilled for 45 liters and it cost me 6 dinar 300. After refueling, now you can see my car range is around 480. And I hope it improves on the highway. And now we had came over here to take insurance. There were two options. For one week, the insurance was 10 dinar 500. And for two weeks, it was 14 dinar. So I prefer taking for the two weeks to be on a safer side. Now we will cross the Saudi Causeway, the Bahrain Saudi Causeway, for which we have to pay 2 dinar 500 fills again. So let's begin. We just cleared the immigration and customs and now we are entering in Saudi Arabia. So I stopped at this fuel station to pray. So a car approached me and family was there in that car, a man, his wife and kids. So he said me that he's from UAE and the car number plate was also from UAE that he lost his wallet and there is no fuel in his car. So basically he wanted me to refill his fuel or give him some money. So I felt something was very fishy in this. So I just stopped and I ignored him and I went to pray. And now once I finished my prayer and I came outside, there was another car with another number plate. Now this number plate was from Oman. And he was also with his family. There was a lady and a kid. And he said me exactly the same story. And he was like, I lost my wallet and I'm coming from Bahrain and I want to go Oman, but I don't have fuel. And, you know, it was extremely weird situation. But the thing is, when I stared in that guy's eye, he just left from there. Because of these people, if there are some genuine cases, people won't get help. You know, these people should be ashamed of themselves for doing such act uh, over here. So I just wanted to know, did you guys ever face similar situation? Because many of us are going for Umrah during the National Day holiday. So do share that in, your, in the comments. This is our first stop for the food. After driving for 355 kilometers from Bahrain, we stopped here. Right now the time is 10.30 in the night. So we stopped over here. We have this delicious food. So we have grilled chicken with rice because my son Vanim just loves rice and grilled chicken and Amina she likes to have something in curry so we have got beef uh, beef karai with the khubaz so we will eat this food inshallah and then continue our journey Hi guys, we are going to travel Amina, whose baby are you? So guys, after driving 398 kilometers, this is my first fuel station where I'll refuel my tank. I still had around 150 kilometer range, but it's better to refuel it here. Let me show you the prices over here. So the price for 95 octane is 2.33 uh, rials. My full tank is around 75 liters and now I have filled around 51 liters. 
So guys, now I'll tell you the mileage of car. So now I have refueled my car fully. And if you can see over here, the range is showing 570 kilometers. So Alhamdulillah, the range has improved because I'm not using AC. The weather is very cold. Now I'll show you how to calculate the mileage. So now I had driven my car 393.9 kilometers divided by the fuel, how much went in. So the fuel which I got in is now 51.5 liters. That gives me an average of 7.6. So I have driven 475 kilometers from Bahrain and now we have almost reached Riyadh. So the whole road conditions were really good and I was driving at a speed of 100 to 120. That's it. I'm driving under the speed limit. Because as you know, there are so many cameras in Saudi Arabia and these fines are coming back to Bahrain and to wherever, in whichever GCC country you are there, soon, sooner or later you will get these fines. So that's why right now I'm driving at the maximum speed of 120. That's why I'm even getting good fuel mileage. I think this is the first time my car has given me 7.6 km per liter. So I'm very happy and proud of my beast, my King Kong. And this beautiful thing, uh, this bridge, it looks like it is for the monorail or metro. So if you guys know what is this for, comment and let me know. Now I have driven my car 662 kilometers from Bahrain. Actually, we started at 5.30 almost from the causeway. And now the time is 3 o'clock, 3 in the morning. So because I'm traveling with my family and kids, so we our breaks are much longer and we took so much time and we drove also slowly we drove at a speed of 100 120 kilometers at maximum so now the temperature is really cold it is 10 degrees outside i'm damn sleepy i cannot drive anymore so i have just got this petrol station as you can see there is no place to sleep over here so we are going to sleep in the car super cold and the weather is so chill it's like 10 degrees I think the real feel will be like 6 or 7 degrees only and this is how the place is around us but there is no hotel or any rooms where we can stay for tonight so what we will do is now we will just recline our seats and sleep uh, I will go and look for dark area where the truck guys are uh, located where the truck guys I think they are sleeping so we will go there and relax We are going to sleep and take a good nap it is almost 3.30 in the morning and we are going to sleep. So this is the setup. On the back seat, I'm sleeping. Hi. Ghanem is sleeping on the floor. Amina, she's sleeping on my seat. And my wife is sleeping on the passenger seat. So good night. We'll take 3-4 hours nap and then let's see. Good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning. I just slept for 3 hours and now we are continuing our journey to Medina. Assalamu alaikum guys, so this is day two on my journey from Bahrain to Umrah and this is my second fuel So now it is 10.30 in the morning, this is our second day Till now we didn't reach Medina, Medina is almost 400 kilometers away So we stopped at Al Baik So we'll have our breakfast from here and then we will move on Actually we are traveling with kids so you know our tea breaks, our toilet breaks and all the breaks gets really long and then we get tired and so we stop, we take more rest. So that is one advantage of going in your car. You can take your own time, you can relax, you know, and the whole trip gets really joyful. So now let's go and see what we are getting here. Maybe we are getting nuggets or we are getting whole chicken. Let's check out. Are you excited? Yes. What do you want to eat from Albaik? Here they don't have the broasted option, only the nuggets option is available. I just got my albaik and there is no place to eat uh, inside the restaurant. So let's sit in the car and eat quickly and we shall move towards Medina, which is still I think 400 kilometers away. So guys, Bismillah, let's have our albaik as breakfast. I like a bit. Ah. What? 
So guys, let's try this delicious nugget from Saudi Arabia. Let's see if the taste is same as Bahrain or over here the taste is more enhanced or less enhanced. Let's see. So Bismillah, this is my spicy nugget dipped into this yummy garlic sauce and Bismillah. Mm. Mm. Amazing, 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 amazing. Just look at this spicy nugget and how reddish it is. See? Having this in breakfast will make your day. So just dip this again in the garlic sauce and one more time. Bismillah. Mm. <laughs> Guys, from Bahrain to Riyadh, the roads were really good. Now, when we are heading towards Medina, we have 400 kilometers left. You can see how bad the road is. These are going to screw your tires, Rohini. See how the tar is broken? And see the one on the center. So, the condition of the roads here is pathetic. Uh, but I just wanted to share this thing. When I used to come for Umrah before, before five years, six years, the broken roads or the bad roads were for a very long time. Maybe from Bahrain, when you start itself, you will find, you know, good road, bad, good, bad. But this time, the road all the way through the Riyadh was really good. Guys, from the last fuel station, I have driven my car around 363 kilometers. I even have 150 kilometer range. Now, my fuel economy has gone down because over the time I was driving at the speed of 140 kilometers per hour. And because it was hot in the morning, so I was turning on the AC as well. So that's why the fuel economy has gone down. So when I refuel the petrol, I'll tell you how much fuel economy I got. So this is the fuel station where we have reached. So we will just stop over here, go and pray, and then we will move on. So I will be sharing with you how much fuel economy I'm getting also. And this is how my car is looking now. So many mosquitoes, all blood, blood, blood. And so many of the mosquitoes went inside the radiator. So I'll have to give a good wash to my beast. This is my third refuel before I reach Medina. In the first refuel, I paid 120 rial. In the second, I paid 123 rial. It was always a refill of 50 liters tank. Now this is my third refuel. Let's see how much it will be. And another information, the price of fuel differs, you know, a bit. Because in some place, the price of fuel was 2.33 riyal. Somewhere it is 2.36 riyal. Some places it is 2.39 riyals. So it depends, you know. Sometimes on the highways it's cheap. Sometimes in the cities it, it is expensive. So wherever you get, just refill it. Refill 55 liters and I paid 131 riyals. So now I will tell you how much mileage I got from my previous driving in which I was driving at a speed of 140 km on and AC was on. So I drove 364 kilometers divided by the fuel which is 55.51. So I was getting a range of 6.5 which is almost one kilometer I was losing because of driving at 140 speed. So that's not bad, I'll reach quickly. So this is the mileage for now and let's go and the range which I got is 500 kilometers. This hotel till the Masjid al Nabawi by walk is 1.8 kilometers. So it is a bit far. But as I showed you, or I will be showing you how the bus service is there. Overall, the hotel is clean. And I paid for this hotel per night 18 dinar or 180 riyals or 180 dirham. It's the same. So So guys, this is the bus for the Umrah service and after, before every prayer, 30 minutes before, it takes you to the Haram and gets you back. This is the hotel. So guys, mashallah, the hotel service is really good for the price which you pay because after, before every prayer, before 30 minutes, they take you to the Haram. And after you finish prayer, I think within 15, 20 minutes time, you have to reach back to the location. And it's like just... Uh, 
just two three minutes walk that's it not much i will even show you how much we have to walk and where the bus stops so at this price point it's really a very good deal because we are paying 18 bd or 180 riyals or 180 dirham that's the price which we are paying for this hotel and now me and my son and the family is ready to go home so guys that is our bus it dropped us here and this is the Huda hotel and right at the back that is the entrance to the masjid so it's just two minutes away